This wipe, I lived rent-free on large oil alone in rust, and I spent quite a lot of that time without a base and living off stashes. And so, let's get straight into it, of how I started off. It's the 9th of February, and I've just had one of the most boring force wipes ever. So, I take a look at the list of rust servers, and I join the one with the highest pop on the list. I load in, alone on the rust ground, planning and evaluating how to get my start. First things first, a little look. Then some food shopping in the supermarket to get full HP and then recycling some stuff for metal frags to make yokers for extra handmaids. And then, soon after that, a little more look. Some binoculars just to spy on some action nearby. But before trying to make some money moves, some more comps are needed for cloth to make bags Ooh. and clothing. Nice. And then we can start fighting. There were some AK groups fighting in the excavator, so I waited patiently for an opening. But sadly, this wasn't it. Which is fine, because I respawned, went back and got my pipe, and got my stashes, and went elsewhere towards a large oil rig. Because this spot was a very populated part of the map, and it was gonna be good. But on my way there, I came across a massive compound and a hazmat running between them. Oh my... Sorry bro. That's life. That is life. Now with my first gun, I placed another bag with another stash, and then, that was it. Large oil rig. I went straight there to try and counter. But it seemed like there was nobody here. Until I heard water. Which means, someone else is trying to get on rig. Well, that was easy enough. Before even having a base, I had three tier 2 guns. However, one was at the bottom of the ocean and I couldn't find it at night time, which is fine because I'll get that later. Also, the group that took large rig left loot in the crate so everything was empty. And on my way swimming back to land, I came across the likely suspects of the large oil rig controllers. What looked like a village. It was gonna be hard to find a good spot to live. Interesting. Very, very interesting. And I think my stash is right here, no? Is it over there? I don't even know where my stash is. It's somewhere. That's for damn sure. This area was pretty lively. There were quite a few different gunshots, so I quickly stashed my loot at once to go and check it out. What? Dude, what has happened? Bro, this lag shit is crazy. Looks like that's over, whatever the hell that was, even. Big base there, noted. Cool. Goodbye Tommy, I guess. Cause... Server just lagged like hella. Awesome. Yes! Jesus, they're still raiding, I guess. Wait. <gasps> oh. Yo, no way. Definitely a raid. I'm not sure if it's the raid, but it's definitely a raid. If I can get close <coughs> in those trees, in that tree line, I can definitely loot a body. It's only a matter of time. But I need this guy to like lose his interest a split second on someone else. So I can quickly sneak up. That stash might come in handy actually. They always make mistakes, these groups. They always make mistakes. Hopefully I can take this opportunity to kill this guy right in front of me right now. Almost. Almost. If I could get the AK body. Whilst I re-kit out my stash, I'd like to thank you guys for 7,000 likes on my last upload. That is insane. Do we think we can maybe get 8k on this one? I appreciate it, boys and girls. Hmm. Ooh. Psst. 
Well, I had definitely found the raid I'd been hearing, but the problem was it wasn't really possible to count the actual raiders. Jesus. Yet. Unfortunately for me, this group has like some IQ. They have a turret placed facing their own breach, which is smart. And it's a bolt suppressed, which again is smart, but also very annoying. Also sending naked, bro. That's just typical, really. Typical Zerg activity. Kill a guy with an AK, run then naked. Yup, that's how she goes. Wait, dude, I can I can take the horse and boost over the back and jump behind the turret and maybe kill him. But that's gonna be hard with all these grubs though, man. But I need to avoid the saga as well. What the fuck? Really tried to rocket me, bro? That's out of order. So dumb, bro. There were just too many things happening at once, but I knew my plan would work. It was only a matter of time. Actually so doable, but... Just unlucky. Because now that horse is probably dead, isn't it? Wait, is it? They saw me. Gotta go. I can win this. No, he ain't! Holy shit. Honestly, I should have lost that. I'm not sure why they were playing that way, or I don't know what the hell they were even thinking. But that made it very, very easy for me. Like, he saw me early on. Like, he literally saw me and where I was going. He should have known I was gonna flank, and he just completely forgot, I guess. I don't know, P brain. Absolute P brain. GG, though. Three AKs, just like that. And Rig has respawned as well. Maybe Rig is the way instead. That's not good. We are officially being followed. Living in poverty, yet so rich. I don't know how. Let me go to rag, bruh. I spawned in. Let's chill. What's up, bruh? Yo, um, do you have any, like, low grade or, like, a furnace in there that I can, like, buy off you, maybe, if it's, like, something? Uh, uh let me see. And I'll make sure to, um, uh, re repay you in the future. Hey, Maji. What should I call you, man? Yeah, yeah, just call me Phantom. Alright, bruh. See you around, Phantom. I mean, I could budge you to our team. Actually, no, I can't. I'm not team leader. That's ah, all good, bro. I'll see you around, man. Have fun. Good luck. What a fucking legend, mate. What a G. I'm a one wooden door raid right now. I need to sort it out. <laughs> That's not good. That's really not good. 
I'm not sure why, like, more people don't pick up these little, like, ground spawnable things, like the wood, the ore, the sulfur, like, literally, I am just, I've just been running around right now, on the beach, it's just, like, picking wood, and I've not found a single tree, and I've got 350, like, it's, it's freebies, bro. It's just simply freebies. Now that I had collected some resources to smelt some metal in my furnace, I saw a group took large oil. I took one of my three AKs and suddenly died before I could even make it on. So I went back with Asar to see if I could catch them before they left. But I was too late, but either way, there were some people to fight and some other goodies to collect. And they all had virtually nothing as well. Busted ass tanks. Blue card was open and there were crates there to be looted. And there was all this diving gear, which for me is literally all I need. One diving tank I want to offend is a golden ticket to large oil rig. Then when it turned nighttime, I spawned back on my stashes to collect them and bring them to base because I needed the metal and the scrap. Um. Wait, what? Bro, someone ESP'd my stashes, hello? Oh, that's just totally normal, isn't it? Oh my god, that's why you just can't play the game legit nowadays, bro. Like, they've taken all my cloth, all my scrap, all the frags, but left the shit stuff. Yeah, typical, bro. I needed those frags and scrap to fucking make a tier one and shit and research this, this ladder and stuff like that. But, uh, of course, you know, there's, uh, people that just randomly find stashes and stuff, you know? Hey, why are you breaking there? Hey, 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 boss. Hey. Dumbass. Hey, hey, dude, I, I'm not causing no harm. Just come back here real quick. Wait, wait. Dumbass. I had a feeling, bro. I don't know why. I had a feeling, though. I just had a feeling. Please don't shoot, man. I literally need. Please don't. I have a rock retard. <laughs> I have something. You hit me. I'm dying. Get him. He hit me, sir. He hit me. Get him. I'll save you, boy. I'll save Get you, boy. Get me, please. I'm a, I'm a naked. Nah. I'll kill him, though. That's what you get. I needed that wood, actually. <laughs> Came in handy. I think I should have more stashes with guns in, but... I had a stash here, but it might be gone. That bag is new. It's gone. Interesting. I definitely left it in some clothing, and it's it's all gone. <laughs> I think I left a spaz as well up here. Feather up here. If that's gone as well, then I am never using stashes ever again, because it's just ridiculous. It's gone. Like, I didn't take this. How- how has my stash been found? Every stash I've placed has been found. That's so stupid. Essentially for the viewer experience who is a bit confused right now, that's what I'm saying, but I placed six- six or seven bags around the map, like, separate grids, like, one over here, one over here, one over here, one over here, like, multiple different, like, grids, you know, so, and every single stash that I've placed has been found. It's crazy, dude. It's crazy. So many cheaters, dude. It's fucked. There was- Quite a few people in my area at this point. It was lively. Oh my god. Holy shit, what is this guy doing? I need this. <laughs> wow. Holy wood, this poor guy. How long was he farming for? And that's why, boys and girls, that TC craft bind comes in clutch. Because I instantly looted and left. I am a prophet raid right now. Holy shit. What? He, he just crawled in, did he? He just crawled out. In, I mean. Dude, why is that even a thing? Listen, dude, you seem new to the game. If you just let me out, I'll just leave. But um, if not, I'll just have to make my own way out. That's what I'll make this easier for us both, you know? I mean, this is the guy that's filming wood. Good doing business, bro. Good doing business. He realized the mistake he made and fixed it. That's a smart man right there. If it wasn't already obvious, there were a lot of different people in my area, and in literally every single grid, there were multiple TCs and multiple bases. So I chose to make my base in a spot where no one else had already built. Somewhere isolated. Somewhere hidden. So I began placing the foundations to my underwater fortress. It wasn't going to be easy, and I would need to farm even more resources than I already had. 
Luckily for me though, thanks to a large oil rig, I already had plenty of diving gear to utilize. But that isn't the main focus of this video. Not long after beginning my creation, a group took a large oil rig, so I had to go with my diving set. There was a decent amount of loot on the dock, so I stashed some stuff and then pushed up to get the rest of the goodies. But more grubs are coming to large rig. With a little bit of ocean fun, large oil rig was now down, so there was plenty of downtime to go elsewhere and do other things to pass the time. So I picked up a pickaxe and went out to try and farm, but of course, you know me, things didn't always go to plan. I got into some trouble. HP, bro. Oh, man. Oh, my God. What the fuck? They were loaded. I knew, by the way, they were moving. They were loaded, bro. Those two wetsuit guys. There was two of them, but I only killed one. That other guy was loaded for sure as well. Ah, well. We'll never know what the other guy had, but this guy was loaded. 700 cloth tuber. I didn't even notice that. Holy shit, that guy just juiced me up. I feel bad, but at the same time I don't. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, but for whatever reason, dying to AKs and knowing there were AKs out there whilst I had AKs, I couldn't resist. My ego needed to bring out an AK myself, so that's what I did. And what better place to take my AK than straight towards the village, the first place I got them. And so I got loud and wanted to bait a fight. I want the smoke. That's nice tunes, bro. Well, those guys seem like they are easily farmable. They just keep, like, running out of tier 2 guns, crafting meds. I mean, sure, I'll take them. Oh, um, that sub was on rig, and that base, I don't think, was there. And I see twig walls inside. That's a new base. That would see it too. I should farm. Cargo. Hmm. I still just gotta... Wait. <laughs> Is my base gonna be... That's very close to my home. Oh my god, that's so close to my base. Wait, my base is... <laughs> Wait. Dude, no. Oh no. This was a massive fucking problem. If Cargo really did demolish my entire base, I have nowhere to go. I spent all my resources on this underwater fortress and there is no spot on land for me to build. All I could do was pray. Oh, we're good. Wait, are we good? I think it took away half my base. Oh no, bro. My Valk's gone. You're joking, bro. Alright, so, yeah, we've lost half of the base, I think. Have we? Oh, like the middle of the base is gone. The damage isn't actually that bad. The damage isn't that bad. We can actually make do with this. We'll just have to like, oh god, move the TC and yeah. So the cargo broke a bunch of this shit. We can make do though. We can fix this. I then started rebuilding my underwater base, then headed straight back to the village 
for some more deliveries. What's going on over there? Having a little jam. Hey, no, I don't have nothing. I don't have nothing. I don't have nothing. He has everything. Wait, can, can I? Wait, wait, can I? Can I have? Yeah, that was quiet. Now that I depot at home, I still got large rig just respawned. They might not even know I died. Fucking idiots. Well, I can't really land at base, for obvious reasons, so this is going to be awkward. With the mini soon to be somewhat secured, I then swam to land and depoted my loot in the starter base, and then instantly got back into the mini and went back to large oil. I know plenty more people going. Whilst I was on large oil rig, there was a raid happening on the land, so I took one of my AKs and went to investigate, and came across this. Oh my god, bro, I'm... Killed by a cheater with one of my limited AKs. This was frustrating and it was not a good way to end the night and I was about to log off. So instead of logging off on an L, I decided to end on a wholesome note for the night and went back to repay my debts. Yo, Predator, what's up, man? This is your gift back for the furnace, man. Oh, shit. I told you, man. I wouldn't forget, bro. Hell yeah, you made the come up. Yeah, I just lost my last AK to a, to a cheater, though. Like, not even long ago, like two minutes ago. Fuck. I literally just got on too. <laughs> Good timing. I'm just going this dog shit. That's crazy. Never mind. This gun's pretty good. Okay, dude. There's always one more, man. I spawned in base and got a DB, and I managed to follow the guy that killed me back to his base, and it turns out he lived in that big village. So it was time to gather some more information. <laughs> Why are you roof camp, man? Hello. Duff, deaf, deaf, deaf. No understand. Deaf. I don't understand, bro. English, English. N no, no English, my friend. You live here? Your base? Russian. Home? Your home? No English, my friend. No. Mo home. Oh. De death, death. Yeah. Bye, bye, my friend. Bye.
Death, you say, huh? How is he alive? Roof camp. These guys are so cringe, bro. When I respawned, there was a raid happening nearby, and I assumed it was the Russians. And soon, my theory would prove to be correct. Shitty fucking roof camper, bro. Dog shit fucking roof camper. Why would he raid- Dude, he's dumb. He's actually dumb. Why would he raid that door, not the garage door, man? And he's only bringing out broken guns and broken hazmats, this pussy. Holy shit. What is wrong with this guy? They live in that little 2 by one thing. Of course they do. Spawning naked and bringing out shotguns. These are the worst players in the game. What the hell, man? The butcher. Interesting. I knew exactly where this clown lived. Butcher. It brings out Saw now, dude. You have to be kidding me, man. Are you serious? And yes, that's right. He lived in this massive base overlooking my tiny base that I took over. And he was bringing out SARS. Oh, wait a second. Is he? Is he doing what I think he's doing? Oh my god, he is. Oh my god. Bro, I knew it. That timing, bro, was, that was perfect. That was literally perfect. Oh, dude, the TC. AK right there. I need to come back and play with TC myself. Dude, it's, it's gonna be loaded. It's gonna be absolutely loaded in TC. I need to be quick. Sorry, I had to be this way. That's huge. We got tier three, boys. We have a tier three, bunch of cloth, scrap, even crude. We are actually set as long as I can survive getting back to base in one piece. Get absolutely dumpstered. Everything seemed to be fine, but then cargo spawned. Yo, we're cool, right? Yeah, my yeah, base might break. My base might be gone, bro. Oh, 